Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, President William Samay Ruto, in his first speech, he had promised Kenyans that there is going to be independent of institutions in this country. And if you listen to the speech by Rigatha Gashagwa today, in Mombasa County, while addressing the first sittings of governors, you will realize that there is some effort to clap down some of these institutions. I'm saying this because Rigatha Gashagwa has come out clear, seemingly like threatening the DCI and telling him openly to stick to their office in Kiambu Road and according to him <laughs> arresting some of the corrupt governors in this country seemingly is like creating a toxic environment for these governors to do their job so for him he want to protect the governors and we cannot forget how governors those who have got a chance to lead or to be elected into office how some have failed even to deliver to their counties. Kuna mahali tumesikia kwamba governor anaona wili baro moja elfu mia moja. Kuna mahali munasikia kuna deliver of hot air. When money have been put into delivery of various services in this country. DCI is an independent institution that needs to be given space to do their job. How can Rikada Gashagwa give order to DCI? That means you are, already in, you are already suffocating the independence of the DCI to do his constitution job. I wanted to listen to Rikada Gashagwa shortly, then after this, we will continue with this conversation. I want to assure you, we are aware of the harassment and intimidation governors have had gone through by state agencies. The level of extortion by detectives pretending to be fighting grafts whereas they were just extorting money from governors and officials is a thing of the past. We have told this year to go back to Kiaburud and wait for crimes to be reported there. They have no business in government offices, hovering all over and creating a toxic environment for service delivery. We cannot have detectives in government offices because they poison the atmosphere and the environment for civil servants to deliver. So we, have, we are going to tell our security officers. Now, we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed, so my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and the NNO drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, if you listen to the current Deputy President Rigathe Gachagwa, he sounds like a man who is in a campaign rally or a campaign forum. What he forgot is that campaigns are over and therefore he is supposed to serve Kenyans in his office and now his service delivered to the Wanainchi need the support of other government institutions. That is what Rigatha Gashagwa is forgetting. <laughs> and again, putting it in mind, the truth of the matter is that William Ruto's government need to appreciate the independence of institutions in this country and allow them to conduct their, their services and their mandate as they would want to do it, as long as they are not breaking the law. <laughs> but if you listen to the Gashagwe, it's like they want to 
control the police. It's like executive want to control the police. Yet there is independent of this institution. Police officers should not be told by executive on how to go on their business. They are well trained, they know their job. Let them do their work. If you have issues with them, then also you can take them to court. If they really they are police or they are, they are someone from DCI office who is taking bribes from these governors, then let them be taken to court. But not tell them what to do. But seemingly it's like, you know, Ruto actually does not need an enemy in his government. Rigathe Gashagwa is enough to do that job. Ruto does not need opposition in his government. There is a man who can do that job within. Because Ruto said that once he will be sued in, ataweka bibilia chini na atakutana na cartels. But now, his deputy is here protecting these governors and we know some of the corruption these governors have been doing. We have good governors who have delivered and there's no one who has problem with them. But most of these governors have failed the counties. The counties are suffering. The way Rigatha Gashagwa said that they have been left with a dilapidated economy. Even this governor, some of them who have exited, they have left a dilapidated environment within which the upcoming governor needs to work on. In fact, most of these governors <laughs> need to answer to so many cases. Then you come in to protect them. But we can understand where the, this Rigatha Gashagwa is coming from. This is a man whom, through the DCI, got to encounter with his account, which were frozen. They were they frozen his account because of the case he had. Of course, corruption. Had uko bungoma, kulikuwa na maneno, walikuwa na wangea, ya wilibaro, where they were mentioning him. Because he was drugged and he was facing cases, these are some of the reasons why he is hostile to the DCI. Rather than allowing them to do their job. So is it a revenge mission or what is he trying to do? Because of what he went through in the hands of DCI. The same guy that Gashaka was talking about increasing the salary of police officers, the uniform. There are so many things he talked about. But now, even before he sits down in his office, he's already against them. He wants to direct them. He wants to tell them what to do. Some time back he was a DO, but he's no longer a DO. So he don't have a mandate to, to give direction to police officers. He don't have. So why is he getting orders to tell the DCI to stay at uh, Kiambu Road? Let them do their work in the way they feel that they can deliver to Kenyans. And where they have failed, they should be held responsible. So if you are looking for a, a government that is going to embrace corruption, now that's a money to make I think we need to tax corruption now. Because they have now made it to be a normal thing. We now need to tax corruption in William Samuel Ruto's government. Because the way his deputy is talking is like they are already embracing corruption. There's no big problem with corruption. They are ready to work with even these governors who are going to swindle the resources, money meant for delivering resources to the Kenyan people. 
These governors need to be warned. They need to deliver to the people. We have governors throughout the five years they have got to serve in, in their office. The only thing they have done is to give salary to the county staff. But you, when you look in terms of development, it is either five, not even 10%, it's just 5% in all the money they get. But look at people like uh, Oparanya. Fantastic job in eh? Kakamega. Now try to compare Kakamega to what has been happening in, in Vihiga County. What about Bungoma? What about Busia? Okay, someone like uh, governor, uh, the, the former governor of Machakos County, Alfred Mutua. Alfred Mutua delivered. But look on some of these other governors. Total zero in terms of development. Then you ask, where did the money go? And then you are here protecting the same individuals. So Kenyans should prepare to deal with these governors when they go wrong. But not appreciate what the Gashaka is saying here. He is misleading people. Or else he's telling us their government is going to embrace corruption. <laughs>